Council IYC has faulted the excessive military invasion and alleged genocide on Asian communities in recent history. While addressing a World Press Conference, the spokesman of the Council, Ebilare Krefe, pointed out the dangerous outcome if this inhumane exercise continues. Let me say that the Nigeria's permanent military apparatus has reared its ugly head on the land again. The military dance, which they are tagged, the Python dance at a point, is visiting Enos genocide and decimation on unharmed, defenseless, and hapless Ejo communities. These killings, maiming and burning down of communities by the Nigerian military are the slightest provocation of criminal elements is considered as a threat to the peace and stability the Niger Delta region has enjoyed in recent years. As the umbrella body of the Joy Youth in the region, whom have contributed to peace and stability in our land, we have a duty to speak out and inform the general public of the ugly incidences that has become a recurrent decimal. Accusing the military of betraying their code of operation in the Niger Delta region, the spokesman reiterates the need for the federal government to implement artisan refinery blueprints. Excellent literature attributes these to the expanding activities of artisans, as well as the use of crude technology in illegal oil refining. Given the widespread nature of the artisan oil refinery economy in the Niger Delta region, we assess its contribution to the growing environmental pollution in the Niger Delta region. By artisanal oil refining, we mean small-scale crude oil processing or subsistent distillation of petroleum that is often outside the boundaries of the state law. But with a permit and legalization of such artisan activities with guidelines and procedure, the issue of oil theft, illegal bunkering, and pollution will be a thing of the past. The permission for commercial artisan production will add to the increase in production capacity of the country and assist in the booming artisanal crude oil refining economy in the Niger Delta region. He expressed IYC's consciousness to be involved in pipeline surveillance contracts in the region and urges the NNPC to make public beneficiaries of the contracts and their scopes to avoid impeding dangers. Though the Joy Youth Council have in the last few days supported the NNPC, decision to award surveillance contracts, jobs to high chief government, the Gumbulu, also known as Tompolo and many others. We all agree that Tompolo has the capacity to reduce oil theft in the Niger Delta region and therefore should be supported by all well-meaning stakeholders in this region. We also want to call on the NNPC and the crude oil pipeline surveillance contractors to fashion a way out to involve the governors of the region, traditional rulers and youth leadership of the various states in the Niger Delta region, local government and communities. As you are aware, the state governors are the chief security officers of the various states in the Niger Delta region and must be informed about the rule of engagement, the scope of work, and the contribution of the jobs to human capital development. Lasting peace is not achieved by violent process, for peace is a collective goal of every partner. Laefa Johnny, The Breath TV, Yenegua.